What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Well, it is official. The appeal, well, it's not quite what you think it is. We're going to be breaking down exactly what's going on with the SEC appeal. Is it truly an appeal? And why is Judge Annalisa Torres, the named judge, all a part of it? Well, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to break all of it down to keep you up to date with everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. The only channel right now on crypto YouTube that can pump the market and keep you up to date with everything going on. Nice. So that being said, smash a like and let's get into it. So the current price of XRP, we will come back to this 6317, 1.73% down on the day. But there is some pretty interesting news coming out in terms of XRP. So the XRP appeal against, excuse me, the US SEC appeal against XRP ruling may backfire. What does this mean? Well, on Wednesday, the SEC decided to appeal the ruling in the case, adding a new layer of complexity to the saga, or so we thought. However, Johnny Deaton, renowned XRP holder's lawyer, has stated that this move could potentially backfire and has unintendedly consequences for the SEC regulatory efforts. So Johnny Deaton went on to Twitter and he said, everyone needs to understand what this is and isn't. This is only only a pre-motion letter. It's asking the judge permission to file a formal motion, asking for her to allow the SEC to then ask the Second Circuit Court of Appeal to accept an early appeal. It's just like when I filed a pre-motion letter asking permission to file a motion to intervene. Granting the pre-motion letter does not mean she will grant the underlying motion, as in my case. I expect Judge Torres to grant this motion. This will allow her to even more fully explain her reasoning and to also further make it appeal proof. It will also allow her the opportunity to address anything Rakoff said. So here's the crux of it all. The appeal, well, it's not really appeal. It's basically they're putting in saying they disagree with some of the outcome measures and that they want to seek clarity before moving to an appeal. It's a very weird way of doing it. But fundamentally, that is why it sat with Judge Annalisa Torres, which I think is very, very interesting. Now, Johnny Deaton goes on to say that the approach allows the SEC to potentially challenge aspects of the ruling that it disagrees with, even before the case is concluded at the lower court. Furthermore, though, Deaton expressed a belief that Judge Torres is likely to grant the pre-motion, which would allow her to provide more detailed reasoning for her decision and potentially make it less susceptible to any further appeals. So the fact that she's come out and ultimately has said that the XRP is not a security and by this document here, the SEC in summary has to accept that and fundamentally no exception from the requirement applied, i.e. XRP cannot be deemed as a security based on that court case. Well, it's fantastic news for XRP. And in my opinion, everybody needs to understand that. Now, that doesn't mean that we won't get an appeal in the future. What it does mean, though, is that this is very clear. It is an absolute tentative step to even see if there is anything worthwhile for the SEC to go after. And interestingly, Gary Gensler's name is nowhere near this appeal. It says, Johnny Deaton mentions that he will wait to read Ripple's response before making a final decision when asked if he will take part in the appeal. He added that the judge likely doesn't want a redundancy agreements or points repeated by multiple parties. This suggests that he is closely monitoring the development of the case and is interested in understanding Ripple's perspective and arguments in response to the SEC's request. So I think it's very interesting. And if you are looking to get into XRP, what has it done? Well, it's pushed the price down 1.65 because I think people don't understand it right now. People think there is this huge law case, this three-year law case coming once again as they appeal the decision and simply not true. And I think as this kind of gets out and the news starts to spread and ultimately Judge Torres makes a decision based on what she's already committed, we might start to see the XRP price skyrocket once again. This could be the catalyst back up to that $1 mark. So currently down at 6323, bounced off that 6214 support level and actually that lower 6059 that we hit not so long ago. We're on the four-hour charts, which does give us a good indication of where we sit. RSI is trending in the middle, volume still sitting pretty solid, but once again, the market sits about half a percent down and this news on XRP, well, in my opinion, is going to make a difference. More people need to understand it. More people need to hear it. So what you can do is smash that like button, share it, comment down below. What do you think? Did you even know that the appeal hasn't been landed? And remember, if you are bullish on XRP, we talk about it every single day on this channel, as well as many other cryptocurrencies. So turn the notification bell on. Come and join the crew. We're live every day from 4 p.m. Eastern on the channel, trying to bring you the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency and keep you updated with the facts that are going on right now. So XRP, it's going to be an exciting one. We're going to be keeping a close eye for it on the channel for you. So hopefully you'll join us for that. All right, take care now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.